now we're going to add the nuget packages to our solution to add that you go to tools you click on nuget package manager and click on manage nuget packages for solution then that should open a search box for you then you search for the package that you want to add to your solution for this test we're going to add the following required packages and unit and unit console and unit runner and unit 3 test adapter then for spec flow we're going to add spec flow and spec flow dot and unit then also for selenium we're going to add selenium dot web driver and also selenium dot support and then we're going to add this following browser that we're going to use later which is selenium dot web driver dot ie which is for internet explorer and for firefox we're going to add selenium dot firefox dot web driver and the same for chrome we're going to add selenium dot web driver dot chrome driver like i said you go to tools manage nu get package manager manage the get packages for solution so that's what you need you need to add so right now we can see when we go to install we have two already installed packages for us it's by default so it's a good decision to check that that you've got that is already installed then for we can also check our reference to see what we have by we this is the references that we have right now as we are going to be adding all other packages you're going to be seeing them being added here let's also check our packages.config inside the packages.config we have these two packages as we also seen them listed in the installed nuget package solution so we can see them also here so now let's go back again i'm going to close this so now we're going to start to add our nuget package so i've showed you how to do that from tools you can also do that from your solution right click on your solution then click on manage nuget packages for solution that takes you directly to your to where you can browse for your nugget packages make sure you click on browse because if it's on install it's going to be it's going to list the previous one that you've already installed or has been installed for you by default now let's go to go to browse and we can start to search for our nugget package just that we want we start with n unit and you need then we install that so let's check that for our the project that we want to install the packages to so and you need and then we click install so you can after it has installed you will see an icon like a download icon been added to this that shows to us that end unit is been added to our project you can also go to output and confirm that that package has been added to our solution then the next one is end unit dot console which is already been listed for us we can also add that one then once that is installed we check on our output let's check on the output that also is added now and we can see that also is go that particular console and also it it also added some other packages 
like n unit dot console runner that is also added by default then we also need to add the n unit dot runner so we install that one also and unit dot runner that one is now installed that is also installed then the next one that we want to install is nuni3 test adapter that is this one so we install that the nuni3 test adapter is now installed and you can see that is installed you can the next one to install is your selenium okay let's do specflow first specflow so this is the specflow we installed that to the add that to the solution and you click on accept to accept the lenses then so let's wait for that to finish that is installing adding the packages to our folder okay so i think that is finished so we already got that now installed the next one is to now add specflow.nunit which is this one specflow.nunit we need to add that to our solution that is being added right now so let's see that is to be added we'll wait for that to finish okay i think that is now added we got that already added to our yeah that's successfully installed the next one is going to be all the selenium packages that are required selenium the first one that we want to install is the selenium web driver we install that one then also we do selenium dot support then the next one will be our browser the first one that we want to do is selenium.webdriver.ie so let's search for ie driver that is this one selenium.webdriver.ie install that that is now installed as you can see then we also install firefox we do selenium 
dot firefox dot web driver that is also installed then we now do the chrome into chrome chrome dot web driver dot chrome driver that is the one that we want to install we install that one also that is installing so we we'll wait for a few minutes for that to be finished as you can see now, you can see as our references has increased, we got a lot of references and you can see there's another file that came in that is now added is your app config. I will show you what the, is the content of that and how you need to use it. So this is the installing and our packages, I will go into the package, the packages.config and see what is in there let's wait for this to finish so always confirm that everything is installed before you continue the other one so this is the installing and then you can see after it has installed you should have like that download button green download button added yeah there you go so that is finished the first one, let's look at what we now have on the packages.config. As you can see, now we have all our packages in there right now. So everything that we've downloaded and there's other one that are also downloaded with it. So, and let's close that. Then a new file that also came is the app config. Let's open that. What you can see, you now have a section for specflow added to your app config. And then you also will see another session which is very, very important, which is the and this is the test unit test provider. At yeah, our unit test provider is an unit and that is there. So it's a very good practice to make sure you have that and also that you don't have more than one unit test provider otherwise there will be conflict so and yeah let's continue that is that with adding nuget packages we got all our nuget packages added according to what we have in our slide everything has been added these are the nuget packages that we are going to be using for our test.